What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so the game plan for today, we are doing a bit of spray work. We are actually going to be re-spraying Riaz's TEs because he's been driving around the spoons for quite some time. Um, we bought it with the intention of spraying it anyways because uh, he said the, the, the bronze did kind of grow on him. So we're going to make it white. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. And then we're gonna start working on the car also, I think. The cupboard. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start working on the track ball because we need to start getting it ready for. But more on that again for today. Shamila, my mission, like you mentioned, we're gonna try and respray spray the T thirty seven. We got them over here. We don't have proper masking tape. We don't have <coughs> enough. Guys, sponsor us masking tape. We were um, literally by the paint shop now, Shamil. Yeah, I know. Asking what else we need. And what didn't we get? Washing tape. Yeah, very important. And, and this stuff. Oh yeah, yo, is that it? Is yeah, that what we have this, left? This is all that we have left. It's weak, my friend. Guys, that's all that we have left. <laughs> so, yeah. Newspaper, did we throw all that newspaper away? Yep. Wow. We clean up, we clean up. That was very small to us. <laughs> Yeah hey guys, so the mission for today is obviously to get the T37 sprayed white. We picked up the white already. So yeah, so we picked up a 2K white um, to which you just add hardener and a little bit of thinness. We're not going base coat, clear coat. We just want to get these rims looking white. Um, because I think we actually favor the white rims on Penelope, to be mm. very honest with you. The, the, the bronze tees did look pretty decent, but this gives us a little time to do a little DIY. And while we're also waiting on Aurora, there's not much that we can do because we're waiting on money also so that we can do things <laughs> yeah. yeah guys it's a couple of things we're still looking for in terms of getting the blue car now officially up and running in future we just want to get all the bits and pieces together before we actually go ahead and drop in the motor so basically what i'm still on the hunt for and there have been guys that reached out it's just the pricing was not within my budget i would have loved to get these parts brand new but at the end of the day, it's a budget bolt, so it's a budget that I set aside for the blue car, or that we set aside for the blue car, and obviously we need we now need to stick to it. It's not like Aurora and Penelope where we we weren't we didn't hesitate to throw money into it. This is a whole different bolt because yeah. So 63 mil uh, exhaust for a lot. If anyone has, if you might be changing out your exhaust and you want to sell your one to us. Let us know on Instagram. Um, we'll be sure to check it out if it's within budget, of course. Like I said, there have been guys that reached out, but it just was not within budget and I can't afford it new. Um, and I think what we're also going to be needing is a complete hose kit. All the hoses, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then um, we have a radiator, but if anyone... Oh, we have a dual core radiator. It needs to be fixed. That needs to be fixed, yeah. So that's basically the bits and pieces that we need in order for us to finish up the, the project track car in future um, but for today we're just gonna finish the rims yeah because it's cheap <laughs> so. all right guys and we got the t37s loaded up we decided we're rather just gonna go ahead and db them there's the other one right there so i have one last look at the bronze rims well you're gonna see it now when we spray it again but yeah let's do this and we just made it through to gravity tires over there and they're gonna defeat the rims for us right quickly. We can check it out. We're oh. defeating it there at the back for us quickly. Once we get the rims back. And because it was gonna be a situation if I was gonna remove the tires, unfortunately, then I was gonna have to rebalance the rims. And I just had my rims balanced not too long ago. Um, actually, just before we took it off the bar. Guys, Samuel just bought us some snacks. This is the first time I've seen this energy drink on. What is that? Look like a battery. We need the energy. Energy life. We need to be on work and then we need to, I don't know, we need to be a battery. Yeah. But, we uh, know but, we seen some DIY. but we like Rockstar. So Rockstar, if you're watching Quanta, oh yeah. Yeah, they don't tell you about the shop. Is it? Yeah. The shop here, if you're watching, get a Rockstar, please. <laughs> we don't want this on. We're going to try it. But yeah. All right, boys, and we back. So shout out to Gravity Tires for the epic and quick service. We got all the tires deleted over there. 
and then we we're just gonna clean up a bit in the back and then we're gonna start doing our mix um like i said we got a 2k white we didn't want to go base coat clear coat so 2k white is fine for now but we got a pure white so let's open it up see what it looks like and then from there we're gonna do very basic prep on these rims it's not gonna be like full refurbish or anything like that this is basically a light sand because they are matte so a light sand um we're gonna do the mix and we're just gonna spray it on with the with the gun yeah right and there we go so here's the white that we're gonna be using this is basically what we call a deblocate vit so it's an absolutely pure white so there's no other colors added blues yellows basically like an appliance white and that is exactly what we want it looks absolutely beautiful it's gonna look very good on the rims because you know, look the the bronze i mean they did look nice the only thing that set me off was the gold lip so we're gonna now try and figure this out because these rims they come with these embossed over here or right around the rim basically the other set we have over there does not have that so i think we're just gonna have to spray a bit lighter we're not still gonna go all the way inside of the rim or anything like that maybe another day for now we're just gonna slap it on on top up until a point where it will look decent i guess but you barely see the backing of the rims all that much because of obviously the brake discs all in the way and everything so i think it should be fine if we just get it up until that edge and we're just gonna mask up everything around and then go for gold but um it's been a minute since we sprayed once again so spray the rims that is um i think one of them had a small little nick right over there so i think i'm going to be repairing that first very small nick but and I think over there is a little bit of curb rash. So I'll repair that quickly and then from there we can go for gold. Let's have one last look of Penelope blooming over there on the outside with the spoons on. I mean the spoons look absolutely killer. But we're excited to see how the tea is looking like. Okay, so I'm just busy testing out which method is going to work better. I think the scotch bright actually definitely works in our favor in this regard. So you can see I already took off a small piece. Basically we just want to dull it out a little bit. We run over it with a thinnest rag. Um, that will just allow for the, the, the paint to actually stick on here. So you can see it's still nice and glossy over here. And I went over there. So basically I'm literally just running over it with a scotch brush. Very easy. Very basic. But we just want to create a nice surface for the paint to adhere. Okay, here's a little rash. And I might just need to fix it right now quickly. Uh, yeah. Shami brought the tripod. Thanks, Shami. Almost getting lamb here. Because I'm holding yeah. the biggest camera in the world. <laughs> okay. But yeah, guys. Um, T-shirts are ready. If you guys need. Not this one. Not this one. But this one can be done on order for you. But basically like the one I'm wearing right now. Yeah. There we go. The one that you're wearing is not the one that's being sold. Because the, the print is on the front. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all the way around. This is just our work T-shirts. Basically, but shout out to Page Master Graphics for setting us up with extra t shirts. Yeah, that's legend of them. T shirts and uh, allowing us to use his gazebo at the, the previous show. Yeah, um, we he said we can use it at the um, Kidani motor show. show as well. Legend, yeah, yeah, guys. So if you see the, the Page Master gazebo, we are in there. Come and say hello. Oh, yeah, we, we're going to Kilani Motor Show, guys. We didn't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are going as media not necessarily entering the show so you might see us in a, on a different area to like the rest of the show cars mm. now, even though our cars is not show cars mm -hmm. um, but yeah pull through uh, it's a massive event where it's inclusive of so much different car brands uh, and, and, and types of, of builds where it's not necessarily just stance or race mm. this is the people's car have you been yeah I've been there like I've just been there once in the show. Can you believe it? I've been there like three times in the show. I think. Well, thrice, this, man. You this, play with your three times, thrice. I think this is going to be thrice, the, my third time. Oh, is this the third time now? I think so. Yeah. Okay, legend. Um, so but this is our first time. It's likely salted. Oh yeah. So it's monumental. Oh, definitely. It's All been right. it's been um, postponed for like the past two years, I think, because of COVID. COVID, yeah. Mm. But anyway, so the the show is basically 
uh, open to everybody so you, you will see a lot of like vintage cars very classic OEM cars stuff that you never see on the road stuff that we didn't even know we have in Cape Town so we would be with the, the more street cars do you know what I mean hmm. so street stands race whatever the case might be but this gives us opportunity to see the cars that you never see on the road which is cool for us hmm. like the last time when uh, we went uh, Ria saw the what's it the two my dream car 240 Zebra Datsun yeah, yeah. in so, blue yeah hmm. so hopefully we see more cars like that like proper JDM cars hmm. more proper like old school American cars hmm. um, yeah they had like uh, cars from America like the police car Easy. Left and drive, yeah, the last time I was there, it was very trippy to see. But it's, there's of everything, it's exactly. literally it's the Western Cape biggest car show. Exactly, it's open to everybody, not just cars, there's motorbikes also. I don't know much about motorbikes, but I can appreciate a good build. Mm. And there's a lot of them there, so mm. the 30th of October, please come through. Please come through guys, and uh, we, we will have stickers available. Stickers, t-shirts will be available, mm. um, come meet us. Chill, hang out, whatever. Hopefully, a road will be done by then. No, definitely, well, yeah. we need to blow. Yeah. Alright. So, right. this will be the first show that the guys and I will actually be together at the show. In, I don't know how many years. Like, it's been like years, years. Yeah. So, yeah. Alright. Let's do it, bro. Let's get to work now. Right, boys, and we gave. The rims are very very nice scuffed down as you see we did take a little bit of time but not like crazy like we would normally do so we just stopped by the shop quickly we got some benzene for some nice cleaning over there benzene and then we got a bit of thinness so that we can actually clean our equipment and a bit of thinness into the paint mixture as well so Shaman and I were actually tripping right now because we started our channel in October two years ago and the very first video that we actually put on this now aside from the cringe video that's on another channel but the very first video that we put on Lightly Salted was us actually doing a set of rims, a set of black spoons that Shamal had so it's kind of trippy that at the exact same time we're doing now again another set of rims and Shamal's over here I know what you're doing, taking photos? Mm. Oh, I think the photos of Penelope over there guys it's the right bloom right there. Yay. The other and this battery is going to die as well, Samuel. So guys, what we discovered is, it's <laughs> very important is to clean your gun. Properly. Yeah. The, the last thing that we sprayed with this gun was... The side skirts. The side skirts. The cleaning of your equipment. Very important. Especially dealing with clear. Yeah. So we really got the color mixed. Um, got it to the ratio. So absolutely beautiful that looks. So, like we said, Oh, I forgot to mention, we got everything masked up. It's not the most professional looking thing in the world, but then again, we're not professional. Yeah, we, we said that be? from our first video. So yeah, spray, the paint strainer is very vital. Mm. Um, you don't have any particles in the gun and you know. Yeah. So I'll just put enough in for now. Because we're first going to see if we're going to do a dust coat. Mm. Depending on our discovers and then... A grip coat in other words. Mm. Let, let, let's get a little bit professional. We're gonna do a grip coat. Right? But here's the unprofessional part. We don't have masks <laughs> again. Again. Ryan, where's Ryan? Ryan <laughs> Odok.
Right guys, and as you can see, it's looking very, very different, very bright, but very nice. So we gave it a nice thick dust coat, and we gave it now basically another very, very thick coat. As you saw, Shramel just went over it, getting in, in between all the spokes as well, because that's obviously very important. Nice tight edges, and how we do that, we normally adjust the fan on the gun a bit smaller so that you can of course get in between all the little areas mm. so yeah, we're gonna let it, let it dry yeah we're gonna go another coat, final, coat. final coat yeah so we're still gonna do one more coat just for protection and then we're good to go because we might end up sanding in future not now it did lay out very nicely there's a run or two it's expected we're not professionals but it looks very good so, yeah We just did the final coats and as you can see they are looking super glossy i'm gonna figure out a new technique right now and how to get them super glossy oh, that looks so nice Let's show you what the rims look like very very nice we were very concerned about all the the writing in between there but as you can see it lay down very nicely we got a run on that rim but that's fine that's why we threw on more coats so that we can just sand it down it's too great but as you can see it does look super nice super super nice it lay down so beautifully so now we're gonna give us a day or two to dry and then we're gonna see oh boy how do you feel about our celebration doing this again yeah this is like a throwback throwback major throwback yeah. Yeah. So uh -huh. it's uh, October. We started in October 2020. Mm. Um, and I was hoping, hopefully, by the end of this month, we'll be back at 3K subs. Yeah. Please subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it does feel kind of nostalgic going back to what we initially we started. started with. Yeah. We even do. We even did this before we started YouTube. This YouTube so, channel. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just playing around we, all the time. We, we didn't record the rooms at this and stuff at this point, so I'm I'm excited to do it again. Yeah, no, definitely. Especially when I say that we're actually gonna keep. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, guys, it's looking absolutely beautiful. Let me give you guys one more look. Let's just change it. Give stop there. As you can see, they are bright. I'm actually darkening the camera right now, just to show you guys how they pop. But they look absolutely stunning. So yeah. So that's the end of the vlog like we said we're celebrating two years today and it's it's very weird that we chose today to actually do rims again oh we yeah mentioned us a couple of times already but um we very happy with how they turned out they actually turned out very nicely we are extremely rusty when it comes to spraying rims. we actually used to do like um wheel refurbishes and respray oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we did a couple of jobs actually and that was during like the hard lockdown when shaman and i were actually on the hunt for work yeah we, and we lo both lost our job unfortunately yeah. um and then that was basically our means of income yeah but, but, but didn't we, we we ended up spending more than we got in exactly. because we were very new to it all we had was a we had a compressor um a little bit of know-how so we actually decided you know what we're gonna try this and the results were good it's just what like i think with the first set that we did mm -hmm. we had to respray it thrice just to get it perfect but um yeah we were very happy anyway guys look we do hope you guys are enjoying the content thus far big reveal on aurora is coming soon it's gonna mm -hmm. look absolutely amazing uh we're gonna be revealing both cars in one go so aurora and penelope the final look basically aurora is coming back with a brand new look um, but other than that guys hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe and we'll catch you guys soon come say goodbye quickly yes michael salam bro yeah dude's made that cars fresh today bro <laughs> he's got now you need to buck down and say salam dude come buck down in here yeah the rooms is nothing <laughs> salam <laughs> we'll catch you guys Abdul, come say salam Abdul Malik come bro come, come, come. Cruise here. come say goodbye and for you and for you yeah in the house yes 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 Nice, come on, Afro, come on, Afro. Yeah, that's nice. Give him. It's not. 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 It's not.
Two years ago. Alhamdulillah. Salam, 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 salam. How's it? Yo, we did four minutes actually now, no? Ah, you know, we're at the right time. Right time, sir. Where's the catch Catch me? Oh, yeah. I bought the other bazaar. Abdul, Abdul Malik checking the, 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 the work. No, quality, quality, quality. I take white chicken. Huh? I'm going to bring a batch. I take a white chicken. No. Anyway, guys. Safe. We'll catch you guys soon. Say salam, again. Safe, guys. Enjoy. Thank you. Peace.